We're going to work on trying to move smoothly today, build up a little bit of grace, so we're going to breathe in. We reach up the heavens, gather energy, drop down, push it to our abdomen. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. We're going to just do a few breathing exercises to try to warm up from the inside. So what we're going to do is you're going to put your hands out. As you breathe in, kind of look up slightly. You turn your torso, the, your thorax up, so your heart's exposed to the sun. Your hands come to your kidneys. And then as you breathe out, you push your hands forward. So we'll just do a few of these. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, so our feet are about shoulder width apart. We want to warm up our lower body too. So we're going to breathe in. And then as we breathe out, we're just going to bend our knees slightly and go forward. So we're going up and down. So breathe in, building up lower body strength. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. We're going to go the opposite direction now. So what happens is we breathe in, we're going to pull our hands in. If we do, we want to scrub our ribs and try to Wake up our internal organs a little bit. You're going to look up. Your hands come back to the, as you breathe out, to the back of your hands. So, let's go. So, we're going to breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Sorry, breathe in, because we're opening up in the chest. Breathe out, our shoulders come together. Breathe in, our shoulder blades touch. We're looking slightly up. Breathe out. We want to look straight ahead. You don't want to drop your head down. It stops flow of energy and blood from to your head. So breathe in. Breathe out, shoulders together. Breathe in, lower shoulder blades together. That opens up our chest. We're massaging our heart and our lungs. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out one more time, and then breathe in, put up your chest, breathe out. Okay, what we also try to do is try to build up our lower body strength plus our determination and our focus. So what we, you do that by hold, what's called holding position. You want to put your feet about two shoulder widths apart. Your toes, if you have the flexibility, your toes, toes are pointing forward. And whenever, whenever you bend your legs, your, toe, your knees go in the direction of your knees. So if your knees are pointing out, your toes are pointing out, your knees would bend that way. But we're trying to have our feet go straight. You don't have to go real low, but you want to have your back up against the wall this way, you're really having to engage your lower body. So your upper body is straight. Your knees can be bent just a little bit. We're going to hold. We're going to, what we're going to do is going to take five breaths of what's what's called a box breathing. So we're going to breathe in for four seconds. One, two, three, four. We're going to hold for four seconds. One, two, three, four. And we're going to breathe out for four seconds. One, two, three, four, and then we're going to hold for four seconds. One, two, three, four. Okay, so the secret is don't take any extra breaths. We're only going to do five breaths. So breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold, breathe in, hold, 
hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Just going to do two more. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Okay, then come up. And gonna breathe in and out. So that was only for a minute and a half, but as you see, that's that is to build up your the strength of your lungs and your control and your focus because that's actually a long breath. That's a 16 second breath, so you're only taking four breaths a minute. So if you can do that like up to five minutes, then you're gonna really build things up. Okay, so we're gonna reach up, gotta reach up and what's called pull down the heavens to start our practice. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, and one more, breathe in, breathe out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we have three wake up exercises we always do during our practice. So this is called shake the nine gates. The nine gates are your major joints, hip, knee, and ankle, shoulder, elbow, and wrist, and upper, lower, and middle spine. Okay, so you start, it's really loose. Then what you do is you kind of put your hands down and now <clears throat> they're shaking because you're lifting up your shoulders and dropping them down, everything's loose. Try to lift your heels slightly off the ground and bounce down. You want your knees to be loose. So now you're just bouncing. This is trying to break up adhesions in your body and uh, separate your internal organs, which are, tend to stick together if you've been sitting at the computer too long or playing video games or whatever. So, and then you can go back and forth. So this is just really loose. We're trying to send shock waves through our body. It's called shake the nine gates. Really open up your joints so energy and, and different bodily fluids can move around. That's what we're trying to do. Get, get your body, turn your body into an efficient pump so everything's flowing freely. Okay, and the idea what we do is we kind of bring our hands up and we throw any energy we got out to our fingertips. Second one, Chinese love names, it's called Dragon shakes his whiskers, so what you're doing is you're going back and forth and your hands, your chin's following your shoulders and your arms are loose, they can, your hands can hit against your ribs. That, once again, sends a little shock wave through your body to separate your internal organs. This is trying to like, you're trying to wring a cloth, so you're trying to get your, things are flowing. And then what you do is, you want to engage your mind too in these things. So in this particular one is you pick a point on each side and then as you turn you focus on that point. Focus, focus, focus. And then if you have the flexibility, you pick a point right behind you and you look at the same point. So you're going back and forth. That also makes you turn more so your hands can hit again, get a little bit more ringing of your internal rings there. It's the second one, so the third kind of wake up exercise is we're trying to get our spine going. So if you have, if you have spinal problems, if you have problems with your disc, you're good, you don't want to necessarily do this. You can just go straight up. What we're trying to do is get our spine into a crescent shape so we separate the vertebrae, let fluids get in there. So we're going to reach, reach, and then this way we're going to reach our, our shoulders don't turn, they stand like as if they're flat up against the wall. But we're trying to turn, this is a, called a crescent pose. We're trying to get our, separate the vertebrae in our spine. So we're gonna breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. 
that. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, reach, reach, and then you're really reaching for the other side. We're gonna do one more, breathe in. Breathe out. All right, we're gonna do something called um, Phoenix Ascends to Flames. What we wanna do is this kind of a standard movement that you wanna learn. You're gonna have your, you're gonna, your weight just forward onto the balls of your feet and your toes, and then, so you're, you're slightly looking up, your back slightly arched, and then you're gonna come back, your, your toes are still touching, but most of your weight sinks onto your heels and you round your pelvis. So you're trying to get a, a spinal pump going. So you're coming up, looking up, and then down, you're on your back. So you're gonna breathe in, breathe out. You're not rocking, you're kind of going up, and then you're sinking down. So you're not, you're not going back and forth this way. That will put you off balance. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, so what, we, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring our hands together in the front. We're gonna round. So when we go up, our hands are going to come to the side. We're opening up our chest and looking up. And then when we breathe out, we kind of look forward and we round our back. So we're going to breathe in on the balls of our feet. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. So this is we're trying to get our spinal pump going and our chest massaging our heart and our upper thorax so we have spinal fluid flowing, clearing out our brains. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something that seems about the same. The, the, the body movement's the same. You go up and you come back. So we're doing the spinal we're opening up and then we're coming down and we're, we're getting our spinal going. We're pull, when we come down, we're pulling our pelvis, so we round our back a bit, flatten our back. Okay, but the hands this time, we're going to go up and it's like the tip of your fingers are reaching for the heaven. You're not stretching a lot, but they're coming up gently and then as you breathe out, they're going to pull that energy down to your center. So you're going to breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, so this this lesson was supposed it's going to, it's going to be about moving. So one of the secrets of one of the principles, I guess is better, of Tai Chi and Qigong are your, your feet are connected to the earth. Your feet move your waist and then your waist moves your hands. Your, the energy in your feet and your, and your lower body is expressed in your hands. So you, when we're doing this particular movement, this is called Phoenix Ascends the Flames. This one, when we're going this way, that's standing in a boat, but we're coming up, Phoenix ascends the flames, and then you come down. So what happens here is, you're not doing this, see, everything's happening in my arms and nothing's happening here. So what happens is, the feet, my feet move my waist, and when I do that, what happens to see my hands? They start going up, so up, and then when you get to the top, I drop my waist and what happens to my hands? Oh, they start coming down. So this is like, go up and then come down. Go up, so it's your, your waist, your feet, making your waist go up and down and then your waist is telling your hands which directions to go. This is actually one of the basic principles 
Tai Chi. So breathe in, breathe out. I'm exaggerating a bit here, but it's this is the, the, the main principle. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Come up. Your back slightly arched. Breathe out. So as you breathe in, you're opening up your heart. Your, remember, your chest is opening up. You're pulling your shoulder blades back so your chest can open up and be exposed to the energy of the heavens. You breathe out. You take that energy. You pull it down, and you're pushing it into your abdomen. Where you're going to keep it. That's you're warming. You want to warm up your internal organs. As you get older, your whole body becomes stagnant. So you got to move around and heat up those internal organs again. Keep everything cooking down there. Okay. So breathe in. Breathe out. So it's my hands. Breathe in. My hands are being thrown up by my waist. Breathe out. They're being pulled down by my waist. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, so breathe in, when you do this, see my hands are pulled, it's like they're being pulled up by balloons, so it's, I don't want my shoulders to go up, my shoulders stay, my elbows stay below my shoulders, that way my shoulders he can stay very relaxed. And we're trying to move energy around our body, get everything circulating. So we're breathing in, coming up, and then all the energy is coming down and we're warming up our internal organs with it. So breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. So we have that going, Phoenix ascends the flames. What we're going to do is, you're, you're getting so much Tai Chi in here, so many Tai Chi principles. So what, what's a Tai Chi principle? I mean, Tai Chi principle, your feet move your waist, and then your waist moves your hand. So first we're going to have our feet move our waist. So your, your butt shoulder, shoulder, one and a half shoulder width apart. So what you're going to do is your feet, it's going to push your waist over your body stays above your waist. See, my body is not going back and forth and it's not staying in the same place. It's staying over my, it's staying over my hips. So we're just doing this. Our, our body, we're moving our hips back and forth and our body are staying over our hips. So how far to go? You want to go so your hip, knee, and ankle are in a straight line, right? So you don't want to, you don't want to be going over. Remember this is where is a martial arts. So if you go too far, now it's going to happen. You're going to fall over. We want to learn, you know, how to shift to, to keep our balance all the time. So we're just shifting back and forth. We call this posting. So we're just posting from side to side. Your knees are, are bent. See, so my see my hips. If my knees aren't bent, then I'd be going, you know, like having to go back and forth. My knees are bent so that my hips can stay on the same level. Just going back and forth. This is about, if you go to a Tai Chi school, all the stuff we're doing today is actually about your first two weeks of lessons. You're getting it in a half an hour, right here. So if you need to review, remember we're quality of life now, qolnow.com. So you can go there. I have all these lessons there. Okay. So there, okay, we've mastered posting. Now what we're gonna do, gonna, like we're praying, so you're gonna have your hands, you know, like you're praying, and what you're gonna do is we're gonna post to one side, and then we're just gonna turn our waist. We're not turning our hips, so we're not torquing our legs. Our, our lower body is now fixed, and we're just turning our waist. And we're gonna post back to the other side and turn our waist. So you post, and then you turn. So like my fingers now are pointing at one corner, you post back and turn, 
Now they're pointing at the other. Yet, my hands are not moving. So, but they're continually pointing in another direction. That's because my feet are moving my waist, and then my waist are moving my hands. So my hands aren't moving, my waist is moving. Once again, one of the main principles of Tai Chi. Okay. Here, turn, so post, turn, post, turn, post, turn, post, turn, post, turn. Okay, so now we have feet, waist, hands, feet, waist, hands, feet, waist, hands. So we're just going back and forth, turning, posting, and turning. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're going to do a movement that's calling Embrace the Sun and the Moon. So I'll just show you what we're doing. We're going to be breathing in, we're going to reach out, grab, embrace the sun, breathe out, breathe in, embrace the moon, bring the energy back from that, embrace the sun, embrace the moon. So we'll just do the hands right now. So we're going to start out, you're going to start out by going to the left, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. The sun and the moon are balls, so if you're holding a chi ball, when you come out here, this hand, the lower hand has to reach to stay under. That means you're having to turn your body when you do it. So you've got this ball, and then you're turning and then you're coming back. So you breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, what's this got to do with what we already did? Because what's our principle? Okay, so we're going to post, so you're going to post, and then you're going to turn your way. So you're posting to this side, and then you're turning, and that turning your waist, see my hands, I'll keep my hands rigid. I'm, I'm going to bring my hands up and down this way, but I'm not going to move them. So I'm going to turn, and then because I turn my waist, see they end up over there. So, so I'm posting, and then my hips... My waist turns and that makes my hands go over there. So then I return to the center. So I post, turn, and then I return to the center. My hands, my hands, see, are basically staying in front of my body. So the center, the center line of my body. So breathe in, you're posting and turning. You're coming back to the center. Post very slightly and turn. Return to the center. So breathe in. Turn your waist. Turn your waist to get your hands back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Shoulders relaxed. The lower hand stays under the upper hand. So you, you want to that's making you turn your waist too. You breathe in, breathe out. This is embrace the sun and the moon. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, 
So now we're doing Tai Chi. So what's Tai Chi? Tai Chi is water. That means water never stops. Like if this were water, it would be flowing up. When it flowed back down, it wouldn't stop here and then, and then go back up. So what's happening here is we're breathing in, we're going up, the water splashes against that, it comes down, and when it gets to the center, it just continu continues through. So same here, we come back, we no longer stop, we're just gonna continue through. You never stop moving with Tai Chi, because, so here we go. So we're here, we're gonna breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Continue straight through. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. The water flows through. It just goes right up the other side. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, so now what we're going to do is when we get to the center, the reason our hands are going up there is because our weight's turning. So you can kind of think of it as like it's being thrown up. See, I'm shifting my weight and then I'm turning and that's making it go up. And then when I get to the top, as I shift to come back to the center, see my hands are up there and then I shift to go back to the center and that pulls them down. So my hands, all right, see when I get here, as I'm continuing, that's going to throw them up. So see, it's your body I'm exaggerating now, I'm really exaggerating so you can see. Your body's moving your hands. See, my hands are basically staying in front of my heart. My heart's always in the center here. So you're not doing this thing. See, nothing's happening here. We're doing Tai Chi. So you're coming down in here. So what we're doing, that was an exaggeration. See, see what's happening. So we're here. So as we shift and turn, that throws our hands up. And then as we start coming back, that pulls them down. We continue and shift to throw them up the other side, shift back, and they come down. So that's our waters coming up. So here we go. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. out. So hip, waist, hands. Hip, waist, hands. So feet, our feet are pushing us, get us going, then our waist turns and our hands follow. Our feet get us going, our waist turns and our hands are following. Our hands are, are expressing what's going on in our lower body. In, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. So it's an extra thing if you want. Let's put our hands here. What we're going to do is we're just going to, our hands are going up and down like this, but because our hips are turning, it looks like our hands are going in a circle. Our hands are actually doing this. See, I've got them here, but our, we're doing our posting and turning so they appear to be going in a circle. This is an advanced thing that you can just try if you want afterwards. We're just about done here. So we're gathering the sun as we come back, as we come to the center, rather than just going up here, what we're gonna do is we come here, we get here, and then we're gonna make a little circle with our hips and throw it up. So the water's coming in, sluicing through a pipe, and then going back up. So you want to do these things so you never stop moving. So that's what you want to do. You want to, that means that you have to send continuous messages to your body. You have to be aware of your, where your body is all the time. And this will help you get control of your body, be aware of where your body is, and move more gracefully through life. And that was, I think that was the title of why you were supposed to come today and why you know, learn to be graceful, so that's what this is. Okay, so, I'm going to do one more thing, so, we just did, yeah, we built up a lot of energy, so what we're going to do is, 
We're just going to come up. We're going to take a, the ball of energy we've created. We're going to pull it down. We're going to put it over our abdomen, and we're going to breathe out, and we're going to push it in. So gather the energy we built up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Push it in. Breathe in. Breathe out. Really push it in. Squeeze your internal organs. So you push it in deep. Breathe in. Breathe out. So now we're going to do the pulling down the heaven to end our uh, session. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then breathe in. Breathe out, and we clap positive affirmation for what we did for ourselves. Okay, there you go. So if you, I'm, I put this on uh, QOL, QOL, quality of life, QOLnow.com. There's a whole bunch of lessons on there if you want to go on there and uh, see how they are. So, and there's a little, some little mini courses and a lot of different, a lot of different movements there. Okay, so thank you.